टिल नाउ ऑन दिस चैनल वी लर्न द कुंफू मैथमेटिक्स ए के चीज एंड पॉप वी लर्न द जैपनीज अबेकस कॉल्ड द सोरोबान एंड नाउ हैविंग द सेम एंथुजियाजम इट्स टाइम दैट वी लर्न हाउ टू डू मैथ यूजिंग चॉप स्टिक्स येस एंड ऑल्सो अ लॉट ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स स्ट्रगल विद लोग रिदम्स लाइक दे डोंट अंडरस्टैंड हाउ दे वर्क दीज चॉप स्टिक्स विल ऑल्सो गिव यू एन इंट्यूटिव सेंस ऑन हाउ लोग रिदम्स वर्क सो लेट्स बिगिन Hello Genesis how many things in your household can be used both for eating food and for doing math these chopsticks that i got in the curiosity box by vsauce does that and if you are a type of person who loves creative math and science items like these then this subscription is for you you can get your own curiosity box from the link in the description or by scanning this qr code so now let's get back on how these chopsticks can help us do math These chopsticks are actually a type of slide rule. A slide rule is any calculating device that uses sliding parts on each other. For hundreds of years people used these for everything like for building bridges, flying planes, even sending rockets to moon. So now let's take a closer look. These slide rules work on the magic of logarithms. The scales you are seeing on these chopsticks are in the logarithm of base 10. Now let's understand it. So Genesis you have to tell me what is the log base 10 of 10 It's simple whenever someone ask you what is the log of something you first have to see what is the base here base is 10 Now you have to ask what power do I put to 10 to get that thing in the bracket So here what power do we put to 10 to get 10 1 Yes so log base 10 of 10 is 1 So this 10 you are seeing on this scale corresponds to one unit length on this scale. Now can you tell me what number would be at two unit length? If you said 20 you are completely wrong. It's 100. Because log base 10 of 100 would be 2 because 10 raised to the power 2 is 100. Okay? So 100 would be at two unit length. So simply the numbers you are seeing on this scale have a distance from this one proportional to the log of that number now how does this help us to multiply two numbers it's simple we take another chopstick with the same scale on it and now we will do the sliding suppose you want to multiply 2 times 3 so see on this top one there is this 2 so this length is log of 2 now slide the bottom scale so that one is below 2 now find 3 on it now this length is log of 3 so this length log of 2 plus this length log of 3 is equal to can you tell me what is log of a plus log of b it is equal to log of a into b so this length basically is log of a into b so this number is a into b which is 6 so this is how you multiply two numbers see we are adding lengths and addition in logarithm is equivalent to multiplication so that is how these slide rules can help us multiply numbers using addition of lengths now can you think how will we do division on these it's just the opposite of multiplication align the number you want to divide on the top chopstick by the number you want to divide by in the bottom chopstick now just look at the number above 1 that's the answer how see This length is log of a and this length is log of b. So this is log of a minus log of b. And what is log of a minus log of b? Log of a by b. So this length is log of a by b and this number is a by b which is 6 by 3 which is 2. As simple as that. So see how beautiful it is. The addition and subtraction of lengths is giving us multiplication and division these chopsticks are not only limited to multiplication and division you can also do squares square roots cubes and cube roots here's how see this one this is the normal one and this chopstick is just the square of the top one so if you want to square a number you just align them and find the number you want to square in the top one and the answer is in the bottom one So now tell me this chopstick which is below is the square of the top one. So how the lengths are related? See, log of x square is 2 times log of x. So 
the lengths in the bottom one are just scaled by 2 so they become the square one and also if you want to do the square root just do the opposite find the number you want to do the square root in the bottom chopstick and the answer is in the top one and similarly we have a chopstick which is just the cube of the top one that means the lengths are scaled by 3 so the same way as we did the squares we can do cubes and cube roots on these and if you like become an expert you can do all these operations using these chopsticks so yes this is how the power of logs make mere chopsticks help us calculate while eating so thanks for watching this video do get the curiosity box subscription if you like and always remember that math is everything <laughs>